deliver more energy per pulse and we heat the tissue faster with RF, you generally want to use a larger area if you can. Because you'll find that the tissue will heat up almost too quickly for a 10 by 10 if you're uh, using level 3 and uh, the normal RF. Well, so if you're on a back or like a leg and you have a lot of soft tissue, you can pick a much, draw out a much larger square. And that will allow you to use the highest energy. So if you use a larger square, you've got to use a higher energy. But if you use a small square, 10 by 10, you'll probably have to use lower energy because it won't be pain free. It's going to accumulate the heat very quickly. For example, um, you're going to treat, you know, 9,000 joules will accumulate in 45 seconds if you're on the, on the highest energy level. So um, that's very, very quick accumulation of heat. Okay. Um, if you want to switch back. Yeah. How come it's at one and a half, two or three hertz there? Because in sorry. motif mode, isn't it ten hertz? Yeah, but it's not in motif mode ah, right now. Ah, right, sorry, so okay. this is just regular LHR mode, and when I'm on, auto's on, it's one hertz, then I have 1.5, two and three, ah, and then when I hit motif mode, the, you'll see the picture changes, and then I get intensity one, two and three. And is it still um, 30 milliseconds, 20, 15, or...? It's Less than that, but if you if you add the RF and the laser pulse together, it's about 30 milliseconds. The laser pulse at eight joules is about 12 to 15 milliseconds. Um, so we'll go home. So we can select the other one. If we select sublative, obviously you get your familiar speed dial A, B, and C. When you click on uh, the program, it highlights here just like the other programs do, and you can go to the full, full energy scale. I go up to 62. I see that my graphic changes. I have auto on, auto off, and then the normal intensive, just like I have in the other one. Of course, I have to connect the tip. When I connect the tip, you'll notice that this graphic will change depending on the tip that I connect. Okay, so if I connect a 44 tip on this, that'd be great. Can I grab it? Can you grab it? So if I connect a 44 tip, you're going to see that this graphic will actually change and you'll see that the, the, the electrodes actually move closer together and the area is smaller. So <coughs> you'll see it <coughs> see what it is. So when we get one, I'll put it on. You'll see. Before that, we'll go to the sublime. Very simple, now we've got sublime. We have our energy scale here up to 120. So this is a little bit, in the international version, it's a little bit stronger than what you have currently with the E2, but the E2 will also be updated to 120. Before we had um, the 100 is about the level of parity with an Emax. So if you have 100, 100 is equivalent to about 120 with the older RF devices. So the new RF systems like the E2 or the E Plus, you have about a 20 to 30 percent improvement. So if you're using 100 joules per cubic uh, centimeter, it's equivalent to about 110, 120 on the old systems. So you have to be aware of that. It's not 100 percent of cases, but it's kind of like the Vela Shape 2 versus the Vela. So it just means that more people, nearly, and everybody get the exact dose of RF. So there's less fluctuation, so you'll have the heat feeling from patient to patient will be very similar, whereas sometimes with the reef burn and when it's measuring the RF slower, you will find that there's a little bit of fluctuation. Maybe some patients heat up faster, some patients take a little longer to heat up. With this, you'll notice it's pretty, very flat. Okay. And you said Sublime's going to have a motif mode. Sublime in Q3 will have a motif mode. It'll be a 10 hertz motif mode, and it will deliver about 200 joules per second. So it's going to deliver more energy than what it does today in the motif mode, and it will also have a single pulse mode that goes to 200 joules rather than 120. And that'll be that'll, that'll be an upgrade, upgrade on the E2. It's going to be an upgrade on the E2 software upgrade, obviously free software upgrade and, and software upgrade on the E plus. We just have to we're just waiting until we finish. Uh, follow up for the clinical trials so we can launch it with a, uh, a really good multi center clinical trial. So that's what the way the delay is. Uh, and that's actually the clinical trial is a combination of the high power, what we call the high power supply, with uh, the sublative treatment. And it's a single treatment. So we've, we've got a single treatment protocol, what we call the high energy single treatment. Let's see if I've got a tip here. If you put the IPL on, because it takes SRA, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it also take SR? Or yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, get, I'll get an SRA applicator. So, you want an SRA? Yeah, SRA. That's no, they did. SRA.
connections. They've changed. So, yeah, so they changed it so it's <laughs> universal. We changed it for a yeah. hot swap. So you can see as soon as I pull it out, as soon as I pull it out, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we changed the connectors. The reason why is that this first of all these are metal connectors, yeah. and uh, and uh, they're smaller and significantly better yeah. as far as uh, um, as far as their uh, lock-in mechanism. So there are there, there have been issues, and I'm sure the service departments will know about the issues about the lock-in mechanism in the old one. So we chose to fix it on this device. Also, you know there will be new applicators on this device. This is not the, um, the, the how the device will. These are not the applicators that will, you know, go a year from now, two years from now. We will continually do new applicators for the machine. So this is just the launch configuration, and we will continue to do uh, new applicators, just as much as what we did with the Galaxy and the Emacs and everything before. So, um, okay, so here we have actually, um, here, we have a, here we have a 44 focal. Okay, so this is the new focal tip, which are shipping right now. You'll notice here a couple things about it. First of all, it uses our new electro geometry, which is a, a instead of a four by, it's a two by distribution. And so you'll see it's rectangular rather than square. There's a couple of uh, reasons for this. One, electrical, like electrically, technically, and then another is uh, treatment wise. This means you, treatment to do a treatment. So uh, when you have a rectangle you overlap 50% just like what you would with the other one but you don't have to go 50% in the other direction okay so if you had a the square tip you'd have to overlap 50% to put the electrodes next to each other and then you'd have to come up by 50% and treat so you don't leave any strips here uh, you, the electrodes go right to the edge so you could just move in in perfect lines and of course it allows you much easier to get into these areas here um, also the nose you can get in here uh, with the focal. That's why I call it focal because you can treat all the areas that you couldn't treat with the 64 um, and you can also treat like upper lip, peri, oral wrinkle creases. It's very nice. Did you also use it to just do stretch marks? You can use it. Yeah, you could you can do that and you can also treat uh, along acne scars, focused on acne scars. So What's the pulse? So how many pulses does that have? 200. 200. Yeah. Okay, so just we've got an SRA here. Obviously these are multi uh, Hold it, multiple, multiple multi holders. Always keep the poles up. <laughs> so you do it with it on? Yeah, I can do it with it. Nice. It's a hot swap. So. Okay, again, single turn, and then it's locked in, and it shows up. And these are always light on the right, lasers on the left. Exactly. Uh, so if we hit SRA, again, we get prompted with the skin type, I can click, sk uh, click skin type 1 to 2, starts up, I, here, this is SRA or SR, I have, have the choice between settings for vascular and settings for pigmented lesion. Okay, so if I hit vascular, you'll see that the energy recommendation is a little higher, pigmented obviously a little lower, as per our reference guide. Again, I see my skin type here, my ISM, my RF, my optical, and... Um, just all the normal things, short, long pulse, basically every, all the things that you used to have. Now, I'll click on sublated. This is a gel holder, by the way. It holds, can hold two, uh, two bottles of gel in here. Um, so you can see right now, this is the 64 configuration. It says it asked me to connect the tip. Did you notice the change? You yeah. see that now that's dense because this is one millimeter spacing, so this is the density of the height um, the HD tip, and you'll see that the area got smaller too. So everything's scaled on this.